Hi beautiful friends, this is Crystal Rose Insights, here to do the weekly readings for the Divine Masculine the Divine Feminine. This is going to be the reading for the Divine Masculine for the week starting on Sunday, the, oh my gosh, 19th, I believe it is of February 2018. Um, and as with all my videos, these really are intended to be... Uh, basically be timeless, meaning even no matter when I'm recording them or whatever week I'm intending to record them for, ultimately whenever you find these readings, um, it's when the messages are intended to come through for you. So uh, just a couple quick announcements uh, before we get started. Thank you guys for, the, for all of your Valentine's Day readings. That's the special that I ran was really, really successful. Um, I know uh, some of you have still not received your flower essence remedies. Um, and I apologize for that. I had to order more of these bottles because I ran out because there were so many of you that wanted this. So those will all be completed this weekend and will be mailed out to you. So thank you for your patience with that. And um, I just recorded yesterday, uh, I felt called to do New Moon Manifesting Love readings last night. And I, I can't even tell you what came out for the Divine Masculine. It was amazing. Like it was super powerful. So if you haven't checked that out yet, um, the video should be up on, on YouTube here. But um, in any case, we are going to take a look at what's going on for the Divine Feminine, uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine this week. And as you guys know, um, I always start with my readings with a crystal, and this is a black tourmaline. Um, this is a beautiful grounding stone, protective stone. Um, this is actually one that I mined myself. <laughs> here in Southern California. So I found this one when I went to this gemstone mine and this one came out of the earth and it's beautiful. It's like super perfect. And anyway, it wanted to be here today. If you want to look up the metaphysical properties of black tourmaline, um, you might get some additional messages there as well. So um, I guess let's get started. We'll see what's coming up here. And thank you for those of you that have come over to my new Vimeo channel. It's something I've just started and it's been really fun. I've been doing longer extended readings over there, some special readings that you can only find on my Vimeo channel. So um, appreciate you guys that have hopped over there and taken a look. So um, all right, let's get started. So I've already called in my archangels. Uh, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, all the Ascended Masters, Beings of Light, to help bring the clearest messages through for this reading for the Divine Masculine. Now, remember, these readings are general. A lot of you are watching, and you're all at different phases of your journey. So uh, not every message will make sense for you, and that's okay. Um, so if something makes sense for you, then definitely it's intended for you. And if it doesn't, no worries, it's a message intended for somebody else. So... Um, if you do want a private reading, the information is going to be in the description box down below. That is the way to get really dialed in and tuned into your specific energies in your situation. So let's get started. Overall energy for the Divine Masculine right now is the Eight of Water. What he wants his Divine Feminine to know is the Sun what you may be unaware of or may be hidden is the nine of air how he's feeling about his divine feminine the queen of water um, how he's feeling about the relationship is the six of air what's currently supporting him is the world nice and then what he's currently being challenged with is the three of earth energy so the energy at the bottom of the deck is the six of water. This is a very nostalgic time. Um, many of the divine masculines this week might be feeling a sense of um, longing for their twin, longing for the innocent love of children, longing for times when things, maybe he was together with his divine counterpart. So um, this is about being very romantic and romanticizing the past and... Um, the energies this week are super crazy with this new moon yesterday, so um, no surprise there. I feel like there's a lot of things coming up that's causing the Divine Masculine to go within to just say, like, what do I really want? And, you know, that love of the, the children in the Six of Cups card in the traditional tarot is just so beautiful and definitely in... I feel like they're on a soul level, he's really starting to connect to the concept of the twin flame soulmate um, union energy.
energy because what he wants so his overall energy is the eight of water so this is a card about moving on this is about moving on for something like leaving things behind in search of something more meaningful so uh, this week there could be a lot of energy where a lot of the divine masculines have been really reevaluating what's going on in their life and what do they truly want for, for their soul's purpose and paired with the six of water energy it makes sense they might just be you know leaving behind old thought patterns, old relationships, karmic partners uh, that that just weren't weren't doing it for him, you know, because on a soul level, he's yearning for to have it all. This merman is swimming away from these eight cups, and, you know, most people would settle for eight out of ten. It's not really bad, but he's actually wanting ten out of ten, and he believes in his soul that he can have that. So there is an energy this week where... Um, it feels like a lot of the Divine Masculines could be starting to uh, move forward on their quest to, to, to have more meaning in their life, more meaning in love and relationships. So um, I find that really interesting. I'm being pulled to both the Six of Water and the Eight of Water here. And what he wants his Divine Feminine to know this week is the Sun. Super positive card. Um, in fact, this card did come up in the Manifesting Love reading I did yesterday. So, like I said, just go check that out. It was really an interesting reading. But this is about having a really happy outcome. This is about having confidence. This is about having, you know, some ideas that lead to success. So it feels like as as he's moving forward and leaving things behind in search of something more meaningful, that he's feeling really good about it. It's like he he's feeling that he's um, he may not quite understand how he's going to get there or how he's going to have it or what form it's going to take, but he just overall feels really good about this. It's start it's like he's starting to build confidence in his um, quest for more and and more like vibrancy in his life, like the fullness of the love that he can have with his divine counterpart. And so what she may be unaware of, the divine feminine may be unaware of, is the nine of air. So there is, um, there is an energy here of having some solitude. Like he might be in a place where he's really thinking about the stuff late at night. He might not be sleeping very well. He might have some of his fears coming up in his head. Um, and, and so even though like I feel like his soul is pull calling him and showing him the sun, I think his head could be getting in the way a little bit. And so it is bringing up some of these fears that he's possibly had from the past. Um, and I feel like it's also, this is also a message for the divine feminines who are watching this. Um, of what she may be unaware of is that she may be having this nine of air energy herself. Like she might be a little bit focused on the negative, focused on what's not here, what didn't happen maybe this past week. Um, but there's definitely some, you know, negative Nelly thinking happening here. And it could be on either side. It could be on both sides. Cause again, the twins typically obviously mirror each other in some of the things that they're facing. But um, it's like, you know, that exciting time where you're off on a new journey, you're not quite sure, but you're still a little nervous about it is what I'm feeling. So how he's feeling about his, his divine feminine is the queen of water. I mean, this is about relationships moving to the next level, trusting intuition. The queen of water can really embody the divine feminine energy. So he's really seeing her for who she is. And the fact that we have a lot of waters here already, a lot of emotion happening, um, it feels like he's really connect, starting to connect to his intuition around what his Divine Feminine really represents in his life and what she can offer him. So um, it feels like he also recognizes that she's been somewhat patient with him, but, um, you know, he's seeing, he's seeing the relationship with his Divine Feminine moving forward um, because he's moving away from something to move towards her, and he's also reflecting back on the love he feels for her the six of water and then how he's feeling about the relationship right now is the six of air and this is really interesting too because this is you know similar to the sun of things looking up things looking more positive it's he's come out of this battle of all this growth and learning and he's moving forward in victory um and that things are actually looking up and he's feeling like there is some forward movement towards uh the you know the ten um 
So it feels like he's he's really seeing how the relationship with her it, it can be moving forward uh, in a positive direction, and that you know you're out of that stuck crazy chaos of the five energy. So it feels like he in his headspace he might really be realizing that that things could be moving forward in a positive way with his divine feminine. Um, I know a lot of the readings I've been doing for my clients, um, the energies coming through with the divine masculines are starting to almost reach out a little bit more. They're, sometimes they're making these excuses to reach out that they're not these big grand gestures of love, but there are there is some forward movement. And even if there's not forward movement in the physical yet, he's thinking about it is what I'm hearing. So I, feel, I think that's interesting that it's coming up. And what's supporting him right now is the world energy. Again, the major arcana, joy, contentment, victory, happiness, having everything in balance. So this energy is supporting him as he's move, making this brave step to walk away for something more meaningful. He's feeling positive, maybe a little bit nervous, but he sees his queen of water, divine feminine. And the world energy is supporting him here, which is beautiful because I know a lot of the divine masculines have been struggling with feeling like they really can have it all. And the fact that I'm seeing the world here having shifted out of this position where it has come up lately for the Divine Masculines is now it's in what's supporting him. So it feels like there's been a shift in the collective around, um, around taking action to move towards it because you know you can have the world and you're starting to get in that direction. So again, leaving an 8 for a 10, pretty impressive in the fact that the world is here helping him. And so what he may be struggling with right now is, is needing to ask for help. You know, having gone through this transformational process, he's still, he's still going through this transformational process. There's a butterfly here that's being lifted up by a bunch of fairies. So here's this butterfly having gone through this incredible growth period and transformational time to become a butterfly. But the butterfly is still not flying on its own. He's getting help from others. So it feels like there's... Um, you know, he might be needing to ask for help or he is reaching out for help from others to support him, you know, because this may be a lonely journey, right? Because the nines are about solitude. So he may be feeling like he's kind of all alone. And so um, what's challenging him is feeling like he is all alone and that he's not necessarily supported. If he's leaving a karmic partner relationship here with this eight of water, you know, he may be dealing with the energy around like you're such a jerk. I can't believe you did that to me. You know, we had it so good. What are you doing? And him wanting to be a good guy, okay, being a team player, like considering other people's feelings in this process. So it feels like there's some of the divine masculines right now, a message coming through. Some of them may be really like trying to juggle doing what they know is best for themselves and their heart, but still realizing that those actions may hurt other people if they happen to be leaving karmics. And they're just trying to kind of... Um, not soften the blow, but maybe soften the blow. I think there's a reason that came into my head. Um, but anyway, interesting. I'm going to pull some more cards now and see what else is going on with the Divine Masculine this week. I'm going to pull another card on his energy. What's a message, please, about his energy this week? Please, Spirit. Wow, thinking woman. <laughs> so he's really seeing um, that there is success in the spiritual level here. Like he feel, I feel like he's, he's aware of the fact that he's ascending and that he's growing spiritually and that he's making some decisions. He's like almost like he's following the call of his soul versus his head right now. And he, he knows it. The energy of the thinking woman is supporting him in this because this is about stability and spirituality. And she's holding the book of knowledge. She knows what she's doing. She has a lot to teach and she's helping him ascend up the stairwell towards Nirvana with his divine feminine. I'm going to pull now I'm going to pull three cards right now on how he's feeling about the union What's the, what are the energies of like what he's feeling about the union right now this week whoa <laughs> this just jumped out 
He's feeling a lot of passion, second chakra, sacral chakra. He's very attracted to his divine feminine. The chemistry is very palpable. It's also the energy of creativity and abundance and manifesting. So it um, feels like he's being very drawn to her physically, but there's also, I think he's connecting to that energy of uh, even in the 5D level and higher of what a union with his divine feminine would support in terms of his ability to be creative and to be powerful in this in this world. So two more cards on how he's feeling about union. All tied up. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, you have to watch the Divine Masculine Manifesting reading. All tied up in reverse. And the broken heart in reverse. Wow. All right. So this is incredible. This is beautiful. So he's feeling very, he's feeling very attracted to his divine feminine. He's feeling like he's got that creative spark. It's like, he's got this little fire burning inside him this week. There's something that's happened where he's like starting to grow. It's like this, this ember is smoldering in him and it's getting like more and more intense is what I'm getting. And then the other message is this all tied up energy. So this is an energy when it's in the upright about uh, the illusion of being trapped. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy of being trapped. This is about like feeling like you're trapped, but you're not. And the fact that it's in the reverse here is coming through saying that he's moving through this energy. This has been the energy of the divine masculine for so long and the collective, like really feeling like they're stuck, realizing that they can get out of it, but they, they've still stayed stuck. And it feels like they've been moving through this and this energy is coming through very clearly. Just even in the last week, it's been a shift in all of my readings. It's incredible how this happens. So I love that that just came up. And then the broken heart, the healing of a broken heart happening. But the fact, again, it's in the reverse means he's like, he's moved past the healing of the broken heart. You know, I know a lot of divine masculines have left karmics and, you know, been dealing with family and friends that don't understand what he's doing and what he's wanting. And the fact that, you know, that's in the reverse here, it shows that he's no longer either facing a broken heart or he's moved through feeling afraid of having a broken heart. Okay. So it's like he's building more, more confidence here in what can happen with his divine feminine. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of advice from Archangel Michael right now. So guys, looks like a really interesting week for the divine masculine, definitely a lot of big energies and things have been shifting. And so it feels like he's got some sort of sense and vision and starting to move forward uh, towards his divine feminine even more so than he has before. And again, this is a general reading, so this is more for the collective, but I love to see that these energies have been shifting. So Michael, what's your advice for um, the divine masculine this week as he's going through this? That just flew out. Honor and trust your feelings. So he's, yeah, he's trusting his heart. He's trusting his intuition. He's trusting the fact that he was feeling like he wanted to move forward and move away from something towards more meaning. And so Michael is reassuring him and cheering him on saying, like, awesome for you for doing that. It's super important for you. And he's acknowledging the fact that this is, that this is the divine masculine getting more out of his head space and more into his heart and that he's being guided and trusted. He's, he's not alone in this. Michael's supporting him. And so this is also helping the divine masculine as he's moving through the energy this week to really communicate from a place of love and how to express his emotions. So some of you divine masculines I know have been starting to reach out and maybe being a little afraid to express emotions, but um, he, Michael's reminding you that it's good for you to do that because that's the only way that you can really um, move more towards what you're ultimately wanting. All right, guys, so that's the Divine Masculine reading. Now, for those of you that want to listen to the extended reading, go join me over on my Vimeo channel. That's where I'm going to be able, where I'm going to be taking this reading 
and going a lot more in depth. The extended readings over there are intended to take, this is the lay of the land of the energies this week and what's coming up. We've got a little advice from Michael here. But over on Vimeo, what I do is I go a lot more in depth on additional messages about the energies, how he's feeling more about the relationship, the divine feminine. Also, what's up for him to be healed this week? You know, what's the, what's the focus in the healing? And then just advice from spirit um, for the divine masculine for the week. So if this is resonating for you and you want to get more in depth, then head on over to Vimeo. We'll go, we'll get started over there now. And um, in the meantime, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. And like I said, if you want a private reading, please do reach out and um, contact me. I love doing private readings with my clients. You guys are amazing. And I'm so grateful for every single one of you that's here, that's watching, that's liking, commenting, and sharing. It's really, um, I really just adore the people that I have here in this community. It just, it, I, I feel so blessed. So um, until next time, guys, in abundant love always. Bye.